All right, so we're going to go through the written exercises in Nitro 5.1. Uh, first of all, we have 5.1.4, which is writing the DNA class. And they're basically just wanting us to get used to when we use the private keyword and when we use the public keyword. So we need a string called RSID, and we need a string called genotype. Both of those should be private. Those are our instance variables. But the constructor for a new DNA object, a new instance of a DNA object, that constructor should be public. And we're going to need the constructor to be passed a couple of strings like the RSID and the genotype, for example. It doesn't really matter what you call those. But now the instance variable RSID, we will initialize to equal the parameter the RSID that was passed to us. And the same thing with our other, um, our other instance variables. So I think that's all we need to do for that. Again, the main thing is that we're getting the public and private uh, keyword use correct. All right, on to 5.1.5. 5.1.5 is writing the employee class. So, once again, we're going to have a couple private instance variables. One that's a string to hold the employee name. One that's an int to hold the ID number and one that's I'm going to make it a double to hold their salary because that could be a decimal number like 1250 an hour or whatever. <clears throat> then we need the constructor for a new instance of the employee class. We need that constructor to be public and we need the constructor to take a string for the name and an int for the ID and an int for the salary. So our instance variable called name will just equal the name, the parameter that was passed to us. That instance variable will equal this parameter and that instance variable will equal this parameter. And I think that's all we need there. By the way, I should say it totally doesn't matter what you call these parameters. You could call the name parameter N and the ID perimeter I and the salary perimeter, sorry, the salary parameter S and just make this N and I and S and it would work exactly the same. What, what you call these variables doesn't really matter. I was just trying, we'll check the code again, but I was just trying to make them have meaningful names when I called them the name, the ID, and the salary. But those parameters can be any names. We're just going to, as soon as those values are given to our constructor, we're going to immediately store those values in our instance variables. Okay, so that's 5.1.1. Five. Then we're going on to 5.1.6, which is fixing circle. So in this fixing circle assignment, there's a circle.java class, and they've totally butchered the privacy settings here. So we would like the instance variable to be private almost always, but the constructor should be public. The method that allows the user to set a radius should be public. The method that allows the user to, what did I do here? The, the method that allows the user to get the diameter should be public. Um, get radius is public, that's good. Getting perimeter should be public. And the two string method should be public. So all of those should be public. And then one other thing we got to fix over here in the circle tester part, we're 
because the radius instance variable is private, then over here we cannot say circ.radius. I'm just going to comment that out. We instead want to say circ. the method that allows us to set the radius, which is right here. circ. Dot set radius passing the parameter of 5. That will allow us to set the radius properly. There we go. So again, if if circle had a public variable, let's say public string name equals student, then in our circle tester, after we create a circle, we could say something like circ dot name and system dot out dot print line that name and that would be totally legit. Actually, I wanted to run code and not test code. So we can totally have access to the circle's name using the dot method. We can totally have access to the circle's name using the dot method if that instance variable has been made public. So there I printed out the name of the circle, I changed the name of the circle, and I reprinted out the name of the circle. But we usually don't want our users to have that kind of access to our instance variables. So as soon as I make that private, now this code over here is not going to even compile because we're trying to do circ.name and we don't have access to circ.name. So anyways, that was just a little, I mean, I know the video talked about that, but that was just a little more details on when we can access an instance variable directly by saying dot radius and when we have to use a getter or setter method. So anyways, let me go back and make sure I fixed everything the right way. Okay, so it looks like that one's okay. And we're done with Nitro 5.1. Woohoo.